Hey YouTube. So I just wanted to do an update now on finally some bad weather. Um, as you see, it's been raining all day, cloudy all day. So we've been running off battery power since uh, the sun went down yesterday at 5.30. Um, gone down to about 12.09 uh, by this morning. Been running all day so far on that same battery power. Um, so far this is the first time uh, having to fire the generator up. So we wanted to see how everything ran on the foul weather. So, so far our battery power, as I said, 600 amp hours got us through uh, full night last night and pretty much all day today. Um, so pretty much a 24 hour period, uh, which is actually very good. So I'm gonna show you the generator shed. It's gonna be a little noisy, so I won't be talking much, um, but I'm gonna swing over, show you, then go over and open it up. So that's the generator shed, as you see, working like a charm. So we're gonna go ahead and go on inside and I'm gonna show you the inverter switched over on generator mode. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back inside the house. And as you can hear, the generator is literally right on the other side of this wall. It's not too loud down here at all. So all day today, this is pretty much all we pulled in. Um, like I said, it's been heavy rains, uh, heavy overcasts, I mean, absolutely nothing for sun and the batteries before I fired up the generator um, they're probably about maybe 11 89 so they're hitting about that you know 45 percent one of the discharge obviously I like to stick around 50 um, but again it can handle the 40 percent discharge every so often just don't want to make a routine practice out of it but as you see here which I didn't get a chance to ever show we have 240 volts coming in. It's one load bypass, 52.4. And as you see, it switched itself over to fast charge. So right now the inverter, is, the generator is actually running the inverter. So all the lights and everything in the house is staying normal. Nothing's affected. It literally switches over like that. So there was like absolutely, to the point where even your clocks won't, you know, turn off and turn back on we got to reset them i mean it's like i think eight um i may be wrong i believe it's like eight milliseconds um it takes for this to switch over so it's extremely quick um but the batteries are coming up on charge i would say um uh, from where these were these batteries are probably going to take it might take about maybe from what i'm seeing with the numbers maybe two three hours i'm going to say these will probably be charged i could probably kill that generator um, the Jenny only, you know, it can run about 11 hours on a tank of gas, but obviously it's not going to need 11 hours for the charge. I just need to bring these back up for the night. Um, worst case, if I did have overcast tomorrow, I know I could get through tonight and I could get through all day tomorrow again with, you know, the charge where it's at. Um, but we're supposed to have sun tomorrow. So these are going to be back up and where they need be. Um, obviously once I put that wind turbine in. That'll help with, you know, keeping these batteries maintained through the night. Because uh, we do get quite a bit of wind through here. But obviously it's not enough to equal this whole system, you know, and keep these batteries, like, topped off. It's just going to keep them up so that way, you know, they don't have to work so hard the next day to get these back up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can see it's, you know. Back up in there. 
Yeah, it's working its way up pretty quickly. Again, this thing, it, it was, it's only been running for maybe, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes, if that. It hasn't been running long. So, just wanted to do a quick update on finally running the generator. Um, have had a lot of people asking um, as far as how the setup is. And like I said, as soon as I get a nice day, um, I'm going to literally make a nice long 45 minute video going through everything from all the wire sizes, all the disconnects, the combiner boxes, the charge controllers, inverter, the batteries. Um, I had had people asking so far about how many batteries I have. And yes, you got to buy what your pocketbook can afford. Um, at the time when we were building all of this, because I didn't want to go cheap on the inverter, I didn't want to go cheap on the charge controllers, combiner boxes. So we went ahead and least went with lead acids um, to get everything up and running. I built this as we went. Now that we're pretty much where we want to be power wise, I'm going to go ahead and start working on changing these out to the lithium iron phosphates. But this is 48 volt battery banks wired in parallel in series, you know, 40, 40 volt strings. They're all equal sized wires. All the wires are equal coming off, you know, the main post. They all go onto the bus bar. So that way it's nice, even, consistent charging and discharging throughout. Um, like I said, everything's equal length. Everything's crypt. I should have, um, you know, put heat shrink on these. I didn't, only because of the fact of, again, I'm planning on changing these batteries out. It's not always recommended to mix batteries, but you can mix lead acids with AGMs. Um, obviously, the best practice is to keep all the batteries the same. But if you have to, and you can find them, AGMs and lead acids are fine. These are 200 amp hours each, and there's four of them. Um, and then, like I said, it's a row of eight on the lead acids. They're 100 amp hours each, and another row of eight, 100 amp hours each. 20 batteries in total. <clears throat> um, I've had some people ask about the arrays. Um, so just a quick gist. This in, uh, charge controller here is a classic 200. This is running the ground array, 12 panels, 350 watts each. This is running my roof array, 12 panels, 320 watts each. Um, so, so far, these are producing more power. These batteries are usually charged by this. Um, drain them through the night like normal. By the next day, I'd say by 1230, um, these batteries are charged completely so it doesn't take long for the system to charge so I know I can go another 200 amp hours on batteries easy um, and it'll charge everything up where I need to be so that's it for today just wanted to show the generator shed show how everything's working in foul weather um, I'm determined not to switch over to um, grid power so that's why I want to do this whole system where I can literally run off of my Jenny if I need to but mainly off the solar. The generator is only back up. Um, and then the wind turbine, when I put that in, that's just going to be another redundant source. And then I'm just going to keep building it from there. So, you know, we can only do what we can do. And, you know, it's better to have something than nothing, especially nowadays. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. But please, if you can, like, subscribe, share. Um, I'd appreciate, you know, pushing my videos out a little further. See who I can help. Um, if anybody has a request, what they would like me to show them closer of, again, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot and stay safe.